Hey guys, it's me again. Uh, today we will be making miniature pizzas. Um, I have already cut my cosmetic sponge wedge, but uh, you want to cut this in half and you should get this. If your sides are pretty on even like mine were, you can trim them down. And you will also need some glue and some colors. I'm using a hot glue gun so mine dries fast so I can show you the example quicker. I'm going to make a pepperoni pizza, so I have red for the pepperoni, some yellow for the cheese, and some gold for the crust. You can add little dots of red in it. There's a lot of different ways you can make your pizza. So, I'm using a hot glue gun. Uh, you can use Elmer School glue. You can use pretty much any type of glue. So, what you do is put some of this, of whatever glue you're using, if you're using a hot glue gun, it dries really fast, so you have to do it pretty quickly. And just shove the two together. Uh, don't touch this glue if you're on a hot glue gun, because it hurts extremely bad. <laughs> because I have touched it before. Not intentionally, but I have. Then I'll even this out a little more. You see mine's very uneven on the sides. Just let it dry a little bit. Alright, so mine's pretty much dry. Because I used the hot glue. Now, I'm going to even mine out. Alright, so now this one's a little bit longer. Uh, okay, so my pizza is glued together, which sounds very weird. Alright, so now let's get to decorating. So, what you are going to want to do is first take your yellow. Mine is very watery, so mine won't take a super long time. You're going to want to coat this like whole entire pizza. I have a little tool that I use. These are really expensive. They're for clay. And you just kind of spread this along the whole entire pizza. Alright, so you got the top part. I'm not going to let mine dry. So. Mine might not turn out as good as yours. Alright, so now what we're going to do is we're going to close up our yellow, just put it to the side just in case we need a little more. Alright, so next we will add the crust. Mine is going to be gold. I don't know what color you want your pizza crust to be. But I recommend making it kind of lumpy. See, mine's very lumpy here, and that's how, exactly how you want it to be. Um, you can add it to the sides and the back if you'd like. I'm going to add the color to the sides, but I'm not going to make it as big. Blue's running out here. Okay, so you just put a little line there. You could spread it. I'd recommend letting yours dry before you do each step and do the crust last because that takes the most time to dry. Just like the cherries on the cheesecake that I've made before, do this on the sides of your pizza and spread the color of your crust on the whole side of the pizza. You want it to be nice and neat so it looks very nice. This only takes one little line of glue. Um, some gold paint, a little bit of yellow paint, I recommend watery paint, not watercolor, but watery paint, 
because it uh, like soaks into the sponge almost so it doesn't have to dry as much. I'm just finishing up the sides right now. You might be waiting for yours to dry still. It depends what type of glue you use. But if you have a hot glue gun available, I really recommend that you use the hot glue gun because it dries the fastest and you can probably keep up with this video a little bit more. Uh, this editing part might take a little bit. You might want to skip it, but you might not because you might want to see how I edited it. So I'm going to scrape that off because I don't like how it came out. Alright, and then I'm going to put it back on. Wipe off the tip and I didn't do the bottom yet but I'm not going to do the bottom in this video it's basically the same do the top <laughs> I'm gonna put more yellow on the top you definitely are going to need oops, <laughs> yellow I don't know it depends what color you want your pizza to be. I'm not making mine just a plain cheese pizza. I'm going to add some pepperoni. So to add pepperoni, you're just going to do little dots. Hold on. My glue is getting dry. I have to cut it. <laughs> Here's the scissor. Alright. Ooh. That went wrong. <laughs> Alright. So you can kind of just put a little bit of red on yours. I'm putting a little bit of red on mine because usually the pizza comes with little sauce bits on it and stuff. So I'm going to put a little bit of red. My red is very watery so that kind of works out well because there's a few chunks in it. Alright. Let me make sure it's not watery anymore. Alright. It's good. So now I'm going to add my little pepperoni. I'm going to put three of them on here. And they're kind of like circles right now, right? Well, I don't know about yours, but my pepperoni are like circles. Um, yours is probably going to turn out a little bit nicer than mine because you let it, you should have let it dry. Um, then you can take just pretty much anything that you can get the glue and stuff on. Just pat down the a little pepperoni to make it a little more flat and there you go you got your pizza just give it a little bit to dry give it like an hour or so half an hour an hour it should be dry check on it every once in a while this is how my pizza look in the end um, I hope you like this video please like and subscribe if you would like me to do anything else with cosmetic sponges please comment down in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. Bye.